ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the one and only You, Me, and the Community. Now, we're back again to continue our quest in showcasing the many nonprofits in our area, and I'm very fortunate to say that so far we have featured over 40 different groups on this public affairs program. We've covered a bunch, but we still have more to go. So, with that being said, I'm your host, Daphne Gray. Thanks for joining us. Now, we all know that times can be really hard, whether it's searching for a job or simply being able to afford to put clothes on your back. Our first nonprofit organization has been a very valuable source in making these opportunities possible. Ladies and gentlemen, the Goodwill Industries of Arkansas. We have our Career Center. This is free of charge for everybody. You can come in and use our, our computers. They will help you find a job, make resumes. They will put you in touch with uh, jobs in the community, teach you computer skills and lots of great things. You can come in and talk to our career specialist any day and it's all free of charge. They provide lots of jobs to lots of people, you know, people with backgrounds, people with, you know, kind of speckled pads. They don't close the door, you know, some companies do that. They don't believe in getting second chances, but the good deal does we take our donations that we get in our donation center and we process them and put them on the floor for reasonable prices for the community. You can come in, get great shoes, purses, clothes, belts and accessories. We have a TEO program that helps take people that have made mistakes in their life and we give them a second chance and put them to work. Our wares department in the back, electronics, books, linen, we serve up lots of great deals to the customers. In the back's where the magic happens. Our donations come in up here, and we sort them to all the different areas that they go to, whether it be the clothes, the linen, shoes and accessories, wares, books, media. We also recycle so that, you know, we're trying to keep as much stuff out of the landfill as possible. They go through the clothes and they sort the good from the bad. We hang them up and get them out onto the floor for the customers. We generally hang about 1,600 to 2,000 new pieces of clothes a day for our customers to come in and enjoy. We also have the different departments, like this is our shoes and accessories, our housewares and stuff. All of our electronics and everything come into this area. We also recycle uh, our computers, and even if they do not work, we still take and recycle them to keep them out of the landfills and everything. Everything has a second life with Goodwill. We do not like to see it go into the landfills or be wasted. We try to find a home for as much stuff as possible. We always let them know when we have new product coming out, and they love digging through to see what treasures they can find. It's given me hope when, you know, there were times recently where I didn't feel, you know, that I was going to be able to locate a job. and. I'm very appreciative and I've made a lot of friends and the people that work here are great. I'm dressed, my children were dressed and so, and my grandchildren now, so yeah, so it's just a paper. And, it, and it, the jobs that it provides for other people. And so, um, so we, we love it. We, matter of fact, uh, every state we travel, that's the first thing we do is Google uh, Goodwill. So yeah, and uh, we don't shop anywhere else. So. We just really want to invite everybody to come and please donate and shop in our store because when you do, it really does impact your local community and it really does help us to serve our mission and to help so many people right here in Jonesboro and it changes so many lives. So help us to change lives right here in our community. Well, Industries of Arkansas, let's welcome the NEA Career Service Manager. This is Heather Parsons. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you. And actually going to the show, and I, I mean the store, for the first time, I have never been to the Goodwill store, and I found really? it, it was amazing. <laughs> but for all of my people out there who kind of sort of don't understand what the Goodwill is, they see the sure. sign out there on the store, can you explain to us, what is the Goodwill? Industry? Absolutely. Uh, Goodwill Industries of Arkansas, our mission is to basically serve individuals in the community from people individually to families in the community 
and help them improve their life through education, training, and employment services. So it's not just a, a retail store? Absolutely not. No, we're so much more. Uh, we haven't had a t-shirt made that said, I didn't know Goodwill did that. Um, because uh, when I actually came into Goodwill, I did not know that the opportunity was there for the Career Services Center. Mm -hmm. And um, through the donated goods that people drop off in our center, we then put them onto the store and, and purchase those um, items. And through those purchases, 96% of our Goodwill funds for our mission come from those donated items. Oh, wow. That's pretty impressive right yeah. there. Now, with you personally, what, what jogged you to kind of jump in and actually want to be a part of the group? I was ready for a career change. I wanted to find something where I could give back to the community. Mm -hmm. I'd never done nonprofit before, so it kind of intrigued me that Goodwill had this new program for Northeast Arkansas. Right. Uh, two years ago when I started, the Career Services Center was brand new to Northeast Arkansas. Mm -hmm. So we had never, never had that in Jonesboro or Paragould before. And uh, it was just a really good way to give back to the community and help individuals find employment. Right. Now, see, I'm thinking career services and when you're saying that, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people, again, they, they kind of confuse goodwill and what its main purpose is. And as, as people see, it's not just coming in, getting clothes, and leaving. Career services specifically, especially for my college students out there, what is that exactly? What do you do? Uh, we can help them do customized job searches, mm -hmm. help them create a resume. Uh, we could also help them with computer training. Uh, maybe with today's day and age, most jobs you need a little bit of computer knowledge. Mm -hmm. And if someone has never had that before, we can go in and teach them from the basics up through Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Word, um, just any anything that they need to get career ready. Wow, see this is like a, a class. Do, do they have to pay for this? No, everything is free. Really? Mm -hmm. So everything is free, the services as far as mm -hmm. you're helping them get it out and in the world as far as a career Absolutely. Stuff? And the wow. way it stays free is through the donated items. Mm -hmm. uh, so our, one of our slogans, donate, shop, change a life. Right. People will donate their items, we sell them in the store, and that allows our funding to continue so we can provide these free services. I'll tell you, what, what was that shirt again? What did it, what was it <laughs> say? No Goodwill did that. So you going to hook me up with one? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> definitely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we will definitely have more from the Goodwill Industries and how you can join in serving them and serving the community when we come back to you, me, and the community standing by to get you motivated for your GED diploma. Text the name Terry to 69222 for a sympathetic pep talk. You show people what you really are. Or for a gentle pep talk, text the name Deborah. You know you're going to make people very proud of you. And if that's not enough, text the name Danny for an extreme pep talk. Prove everyone wrong. Show them you're the boss. Get your GED pep talk and find free GED classes. Text the name of the person you want a pep talk from to 69222. The next 30 seconds can save you a lot of money. Just do your laundry in cold and stick to full loads. Auto-sleep your computers. Plug your gadgets in a power strip and switch it off when you're done. Head it out, turn back your thermostat by 10 degrees. And drive sensibly. The more energy you save, the more money you save. Find other great tips at energysaver.gov. With us, we have a very well-known organization to many out there, the Goodwill Industries of Arkansas. We have the NEA Career Services Manager, Mrs. Heather Parson, and joining her is Paragould Store Manager. We have Mrs. Sandy Sneed. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good <laughs> I'm, afternoon. I'm good. We were just talking about career services and how, you know, basically Goodwill is more than just clothes. You mm -hmm. know, it's more than just shoes and stuff like that. It's more about opportunity. Right. Now, with that being said, what made you pick the opportunity up to be a part of the organization? I have always been a Goodwill shopper. Um, oh, really? Yes, since my 20s when I started furnishing my first apartment. Wow. So when I saw a job opening, of course, it felt like a, a very comfortable fit. Mm -hmm. I'd already known them for many years, so I applied and here I am. <laughs> <laughs> now, I actually uh, ran into a person that were don was donating to two big, big bags. Forgot exactly where she was from, but she travels and she follows you and she goes everywhere to be able to donate. Mm -hmm. Now, I found that amazing yes. right there that you guys opened that up. So people could just easily drop off clothes and toys and, you know, furniture and all that Absolutely. good stuff. The store specifically, I went in there and, you know, like I said, it was my first time going into the Goodwill. And I noticed them prices were jacked down to where I can have $10 and buy a whole outfit. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. why is that? What, what, what is that? 
come, how did you come up with that type of stuff? They're, they're um, universal uh -huh. or statewide set pricing. For example, shoes are $4 and boots are 6 um, So we make things affordable for the customer <laughs> to shop on our store. Mm -hmm. And yeah, $10, $15 can go a long way. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> we, we have sizes from infant to, to big and tall men. So mm -hmm. there is something for everyone inside our four walls. And these are some legit nice clothes, Absolutely. too. I saw a scarf and I was like, I'm coming back to get it, definitely. As soon as I get $3 in my pocket, <laughs> as you see, I'm a college student, so $3 is kind of hard to catch up with. Right. But, uh, but the store in general is very, very, I, I'm like, that, that is a huge valve to this community. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you personally, do, how do you feel that it affects the community or those individuals out there? I think it starts at the donor door. The, the mm -hmm. customer makes a donation that we turn into a profit uh, that goes towards career services. But along that way, those donations are affected by what we call ACE, uh, mm -hmm. Amazing Customer Experience. And it starts with a greeting, a hello, how are you, a clean and friendly store, mm -hmm. um, all the way down to uh, come back and see us again. <laughs> so um, it all starts at the donor door. And yes. we wouldn't have have that sale if we didn't have that donor. <laughs> Definitely, so. and so many humble people are mm -hmm. in there too working. Absolutely. Now, um, different events that you have going on. What do you what, what what do you guys do more that you know kind of sort of get you out there? As, you know, let people know what Absolutely. you're about. Absolutely. Uh, well, we attend uh, community events to get the word out about our services. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that that we've been doing most recently is holding hiring events with local employers. Okay. So if an employer is looking for one to 50 individuals and they're trying to get the word out that they have all these openings we partner with them mm -hmm. bring them into our center and then hold a hiring event for them and we help do a lot of the communications we send out email blasts to our current clients we put it out on social media anything to get people in the door that's pretty good and it's not even just hiring it's volunteering right mm -hmm. people can yeah. come in and volunteer what is that mm -hmm. process like? absolutely yeah, well, with the volunteer process, um, we do have our website, um, www.goodwillar.org. And when you go in there and look at our donate section, there is a donate your time section. Mm -hmm. And there's a small application you fill out, it goes to Little Rock, and then they contact you and find out what is it that you're wanting to do. Are you wanting to donate time in the center mm -hmm. or donate? We can. We can help you out. Well, that's pretty good. One more time, what's that contact information for our people out there? Uh, www.goodwillar.org. Well, thank you guys so much. I tell you, like I said, I'm so ha super happy that what you guys do to the community. It really helps out everything. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and thanks for being on the show as you well. Bet. Absolutely. <laughs> it's been great. Up next, guys, check this out. We're going to have a program that is all about decreasing bad habits and encouraging self-worth when we come back to you, me, and the community. Stick around. <laughs>